In April 2021, I submitted an article to the ACCA AB magazine about the cash equivalent. The title is The Cure for Common Cash Equivalent Chub. The reason why I wrote this article was because when I was acting as an IFRS consultant in my business practice, I came across a case. So it's the Germany company's finance director asked me a question because in her company, there's a banker's acceptance. So what do I mean by banker's acceptance is this. From a seller's point of view, I sell the goods to you and you should pay me cash. But you don't pay me cash, you pay me a piece of paper. That piece of paper is guaranteed by bank. And that means if I were to have this paper at some point in the future, for example in six months time later, I can use this paper and to convert that into cash. And that's how it works, which means the bank has acceptance. So, the finance director really wants to window dress the financial statements outside the year end, i.e. to reclassify the banker's acceptance from other receivables into cash and cash equivalents to make the company more, look more liquid. But is this allowed? Well, to answer this question, we have to see the definition of cash equivalent according to the International Accounting Standards number 7. So according to ICE number 7, it says to qualify as a cash equivalent, first, it should be a short-term short -term investment. It's highly liquid investment. Short-term, in the ICE number 7, it says it should be no more than three months from the date that you have this banker's acceptance. And it should be highly liquid. And that means it can be easily converted into cash. And of course, the banker's acceptance will be easily converted into cash, no problem for that. But is it short term? Well, in my case, the finance director's banker's acceptance in this company uh, has a maturity date three months or less than three months but not from the acquisition date not from the date of transaction but from the reporting date which means from the year end and if that's the case then this criteria is not met and therefore you cannot reclassify the banker's acceptance uh, with more than three months maturity date from the date of acquisition from other receivables into cash or cash equivalent because this is not a cash equivalent at all. But beside this criteria, the finance director then argues, well, uh, I can easily convert those cash equivalent or I can easily convert those bankers' acceptance into cash equivalent in the past. And I, and I ask her, how can you do it? Well, her response is to discount the banker's acceptance in the secondary market. Uh, discount it in the secondary market and get cash when it needs. Well, if this is the case then, according to IS number seven, the second criteria about the cash equivalent is it should not be significant risk of changes in value. And in this particular case, if you were to discount your banker's acceptance in the secondary market, it really depends on the changes in the interest rate. Because the interest rate, so for example, in mainland China, we've got the Shibor rate, and in London, we've got the LIBOR rate. Uh, because the interest rate will change each and every day. And therefore, the price of the banker's acceptance will certainly change as well. And that means if you were to discount the banker's acceptance in the secondary market and get the money back and certainly the value may change but I'm not sure whether or not there will be a significant risk for that because in certain parts of the countries, especially the, some countries in Africa uh, perhaps the uh, policy or the interest rate would 
fluctuate more significantly than other countries, but I'm not particularly sure. But uh, this criteria generally met. But in my case, perhaps not met, because I'm not sure what would be the discount uh, that you provide in order to convert the banker's acceptance into cash. So, I will conclude the first and second criteria are not met to qualify as a cash equivalent. And then we move on to the third criteria. Is it readily convertible to a known amount of cash? And that means, is the banker's acceptance guaranteed by some parties? So, for example, the banker's acceptance, of course, would be guaranteed by banks. And in our case, I will conclude the third criteria will be met because in most circumstances, commercial banks are having a low likelihood to go bust. Um, if this is the case, it can surely be guaranteed that a banker's acceptance can be converted into cash. But because the first and second criteria are not met, and my suggestion is not to reclassify the banker's acceptance from other receivables into cash and cash equivalents because the first and second criteria are not met. So, I hope it helps. And if you're interested in this topic, because in my uh, article, I will explain more about this issue in depth. And of course, if you're interested in my ACCA courses, for example, the FA or FR or SBR course, I highly recommend you to check out on my website and my pass rate for the accounting courses is very high and I'm sure that I can help with your exam in your upcoming sitting. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. APC Accounting for your future